I don't have a mic turned up. Um, now I have a mic turned up. Hello. Good afternoon. Good evening. This is um. There's a guy in the house. His name is Josh. Uh, yes. He's uh, been here before once upon a time, yeah. long time ago, and uh, he is at my piano. Soloing is one of those things, um, like you've heard me do it, and it, it depends on the situation, right? Okay. So, and it depends on what you want to achieve as well, because there's sprint solos where you go all out from the beginning, mm -hmm. but then you've got really not much to show for it after the fact. Mm -hmm. There's great solos that build up into something gorgeous, and that's what I tried to do in that recent 10 minute video that you were seeing. Because yeah. at the end, I was just going for gold, mate. Mm -hmm. By minute eight, nine, yeah, all that, all that. Um, but a lot of the, 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 the boring people, the people with short attention spans, won't watch that far. Mm. So it's their loss, you see. Mm. So you can, you can, you know, all go all out. But then what have you got left to give? Mm. So a good solo is going to start um, like you're not running for a bus. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Like you're not running for a bus. still kind of just jogging. Stride, you yeah. can do also. I mean, you've got a story. Oh, that's what my dad said. My dad said a solo should tell a story. It should mm. not be a conversation like da 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 da, da and then and da da da, da and then. Mm. Once upon a time, mm. because that is where you're leading the listener. And I suppose, actually, to be fair, of course, it does depend on where you are in the song. If you're halfway through a very energetic part, then let rip by all means, mm. because maybe people have done it before you mm. or whatever. But yeah. Um, I'm still learning because we're all still learning. I'm still a babe in the woods, but I, I want to improve my technique as well because we all do, right? Mm -hmm. But the joy of that is talking to other people and working out exactly what you're going to go and what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, soloing is, is it's so, it's, um, it's very subjective, I think, as well. Like, I don't know, with a, with a sequence like that. It's a kind of very carnival Caribbean vibe. Simple chords, but it uh, you can you can solo in that in so many ways, couldn't you? What would you do with those kind of chords? I mean, well, firstly, yes. I wouldn't play all of the chords. That's all right. <laughs> because, That's uh, the thing. You don't even have to. <laughs> but I think I'll try to just say something. But yeah, the, the computer piano. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah, and because saying is the most important thing, and yeah. a lot of people don't say; they just do. Yeah, yeah. And then once you've done, it's what like, can you possibly yeah. do after that? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Pressing. Great and all of that, but. And if uh, you can make someone feel something, it's a bit more important. I feel like a good solo can do that. 
The best yeah. sellers I've heard anyway. I'm just like, wow. No, no, you're right. I mean, you know I, mean? I hope I hope even just then messing around I yeah, made you feel something. Like, yeah, I want you to like, feel yeah, you're taking that, me that's quite intimate, journey. you know? That's what people want. Like, they want the experience, not just... Uh, oh. I did, did, when we, last time we were here, did I tell you about the... Because uh, I had a thing, right? I always get uh, people when I'm teaching them solos to, to start working on these three things. So... So yeah, B, uh, C, B flat, C, and so on, exactly. Now, with something very simple like that, you can run. But what's the point of that? Right, here's a way to do it.
just yeah. there. Oh. Damn, you see? Yeah. We went from one thing completely yeah. into something brand spanking new, and that was gorgeous. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. You should teach your students that, because um, if they can spread that far, it's a really good way to start, because mm -hmm. it's so open-ended. Mm -hmm. You could do anything in that. Anything in that. Yeah. I, I worked that out a couple of years ago, and I was really happy with it, and I, um, I called it Five Minutes of Live, where I just did that for five minutes. And soloed yeah. with mm -hmm. the other hand. Because mm -hmm. you can do that um, without having a backing track and just mm -hmm. let it rip. It does. Yeah, it makes sense. I'm actually gonna. Yeah. Stop using that. That's I'm a good one. Mm. Man, that was great. That was really great. I felt vibey. I felt like. <laughs> I mean, we told the story. We didn't run to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I find very interesting? How how we tell stories. Yeah. It's very different, but it works. Do you think? Because I think we we still came to the same conclusion. Hundred <laughs> percent. But like, obviously, like how I guess how our voice. Oh, so voicing is, yeah, very, voicing is a really yeah, thing. I mean, isn't it? uh, but, uh, yeah. It's funny because, we, yeah, we do voice differently. If someone said start a solo in, if you were start, you know, starting with that whole, and someone said you had to start with the keys F, G, and B flat, we'd put them in whichever order we wanted. It didn't have to be that order, mm. but we would do it differently. Mm. Um, like, I would probably, oh no, I can't use a C, okay. <laughs> Then you might do something. I, I, I love soloing. I think soloing is one of those traits that you either have or you don't, and you can learn it. But if you're a classical musician coming to this later, it's much harder. Yeah. I grew up around jazz, and I grew up around the idea that music didn't have to be the same every run yeah. through. And oh my gosh, I'm so yeah. glad of it. Yeah. I, I grew up like in my early keys days. Like, it was mixed. So I started off with jazz, but I got. Um, I said when I was doing classical arts, that's when my knowledge kind of really grew. Yeah. So therefore, my jamming, my jazz improved, but it did have a restriction on how I play. And I can see that, or sense that a lot more now than I did before. Because obviously when you're learning, it's like, it's everything is new, so everything is great. Like, there's a thing the teacher says, to, to get from an E to a B, or to get from an E to a C in terms of grade, yes. it's not hard, but to get from a C to a B, it's harder. To get from a B to an A, it's harder. Massive. From an A, do you get what I'm saying? So I feel like I've gotten from the E to the C or the E to the B, but to get those kind of top levels of playing where I can really truly express myself is oh yeah, is proven to be I'm nowhere near the there thing. myself. I know that, and I, I listen to people it. like Amy uh, Nolte and the video that inspired my whole ten minute video, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and she um, is a teacher in uh, I think LA, mm -hmm. and she's doing some just fantastic, fantastic stuff. And I just feel like I could be there mm -hmm. if I spent more time. Mm -hmm. So I will. You know, I felt so inspired watching this stuff. I was like, bloody hell, mm. this is what people are doing, what yeah, they're doing too, what they're doing too. But yeah. music mm. and jamming and helps you, it helps all of us. Because mm -hmm. we go places we did not think to go. And I, yeah. I just, I love that so much. Mm. Yeah, like, you know, sitting on the toilet and coming up with. Yeah. It's like, what? Yes, How? Where? Why? Because in my head, the melody I had was. I was like, okay, what chords can I put with that? And I tried so many different variants. In the end, I went chromatic for the most part, and it, wow, it felt right. And I was like, yeah, okay, I feel great about that. And I wouldn't have come up with that if I just didn't need the toilet at that particular time. That is just um, <clears throat> thinking about how the fingering feels to move from mm -hmm. A to B. It's not even that I know necessarily what the chord's gonna sound like until I've done it. And sometimes it's wrong, mm -hmm. but sometimes it's not. Like that doesn't work, this works. Yeah, so it's just occasionally you'll hit it wrong, but you can always just recover, because. Um, yeah. If you know scales, basically, you have to think about what almost what scale each finger is in when you chord, and then you can just yeah, change it up as you go. Yeah. I love, I love thinking about these sorts of things. Mm. <clears throat> it's also really hard to break down what you do when you do it, because it's muscle memory and you just take for granted. 
then when someone asks you like you have to really stop and think and it's it's really a lesson isn't it like oh where did i go and how did i get there <laughs> I sat where you're sitting one day and I went and I was just strumming backwards and it was just like that whole B flat was basically the main stay. I, I love that. I really, I just felt like I was taken to somewhere completely yeah. new, man. It was it's beautiful. New, but that beef that keeps it fairly homey. Like, this is the yeah. something that everyone's familiar to. But because of, yeah, I got that from Robert Gaspar. Okay. He's one of, well, he's arguably, like, my, one of the most influential artists to me anyway. Oh, wow. Like, a lot of how I play is because of how he plays. So, okay. Yeah, so, if you don't know, check him out. Oh, I know yeah. of. Yeah, yeah, you know, so if know you, when you hear stuff, you'll be like, oh, okay, that's what that's what That's where you got that from, yeah, yes. right. I don't even know my influences because I listen to so many things. Like, mm -hmm. people say I don't play like particularly anybody, yeah, but I don't. play like me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the, that's the goal at the end of the day for me. So, like, it's a visual, but no one can really be in your lane. You can't be, like, you're known for you. You have your own unique sound. That's the, that's the goal. That's what I want, really. You know what I mean? Um, you don't want to try and be someone else. Try and be the best impersonation of someone else. Yes. Oh, that's a good way of thinking about it. The yeah. best impersonation of someone else, because we all want to be us, don't we? Yeah. Want to be when someone hears Josh play. Oh man, that's Josh. That's Josh. From you know a mile I mean? off. Yeah. I want that. I want. You want that. <clears throat> yeah. uh, in the beginning, I used to think it was a bad thing because it was too like my styley. But everybody should have mm -hmm. their signature sound, mm -hmm. and there's nothing wrong with the signature mm -hmm. sound. I think a lot of time we think in this land of social media that that's mm -hmm. wrong. It's not true, man. Mm -hmm. So cherish that and go for that all the time. Mm. So we did a little soloing in one way. What what kind of things do you come across that you want to solo in like chord sequences, I suppose, that kind of deal? Because where do you find yourself wanting to solo and being unable to be free as you'd like? Like what kind of chord sequences? Because I think um, ones generally I love being able to sequence on any chord sequence someone gives me, even if I can't. Because mm -hmm. the challenge is to work out how you can. Yeah, I feel like... In terms of with chord sequences, it's not necessarily the chords because I feel like with every chord it has its own set of rules. Kind of things it for does me, for me to do. I, like I don't find it hard to figure that out. No. I find it hard to play the chord or comp whilst I'm soloing. Co yeah, I that can be hard. You know what I mean? That can be. I will grant you that can mm -hmm. be very difficult. That's why I like having a four piece because sometimes someone can take over, take over and then the, you yeah, can do yeah, more. Yeah, you can yeah, be yeah. more fluid. 100%. And today was proof of that. Mm -hmm. We nailed it today in some rehearsal. It was just mad, beautiful yeah. mad. I loved it. But yeah, that would be my main thing. That and then just the whole storytelling of modes and all of that and how to incorporate that into how you feel and all of that stuff. Well, I, I feel like a, so, a solo in a way needs a beginning, a middle and an end. Yeah. Um, and I think one of the best of, like solos that I did was that solo in the Tiny Man thing that I did mm -hmm. because it started, it was quite runny as in running for a bus, but it was because the track was already quite up. Mm -hmm. Had it been the beginning, I would have probably done something completely different. Mm -hmm. And then by the end, I just did a keyboard smear down and just let rip and everybody yeah, just went yeah, wild. Yeah, sure. But yeah, beginning, middle, end. And mm -hmm. it, it just came to a natural conclusion. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's what we always want to aim for. It doesn't always work out, unfortunately, in a gig, because sometimes a solo people say, oh, go another 16 and you've already done your end. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, right, well, let me just drag on uh, so yeah, yeah, ideally yeah. that doesn't happen but it has happened before um, it's a little awkward mm -hmm. right. um, I'm on the bus mm -hmm. <laughs> I paid my ticket what do you want <laughs> you've been on F quite a bit today <laughs> F is a beautiful key man um, there's like this mode blues in F A guy called Justin Coughlin in the Peter Express one day. Lovely tune. F is R. Ah, F, F tells its own story. I think every key does. Um, like I think that, and I know this is true of myself, and I want to change this. I can do certain things in certain keys, but I can't do everything in every key. Yeah, 
I've that's, noticed that too. I have like certain, that's hard. certain things for certain keys. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's a, a crazy one, isn't it? Like, yeah. oh man, why can I do this and I always gravitate to X, so, Y, Z? For example, in like C sharp, that's the only key that I ever do that kind of part. Yeah, because if you start transposing it up, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, it's hard it's work. Ridiculous. Like, where do you go? It feels different. Or anything that's related to a B flat, I'm always doing. Yeah. yeah Actually, the B flat scale is a good one. In the right hand there. Yeah. That's oh man, I'm not I'm not the only one then. This yeah, is something yeah. that I think keyboardists will suffer with. In um E or B, I can generally I, yeah, I do kind of Hey! You know how alike we are right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause the other day I I played this and like Alright. I'm a bit stuck here because And you know, I find C weirdly. Why is C hard? Like C, D, and G are very difficult for me. I'm just like, what do I do? I don't know. I'm not alone. You know what I mean? I'm like, what the hell? But anything with black, like a lot of black keys, I'm like, okay. E's good because it's just a spin off of B. It's a spin off of B. E flat's lovely. D is A. Do that and you're fine again. Yeah, that makes sense. And yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because uh, that's the same with E and B, and that's why. Uh, yeah. That's oh my gosh. Yeah. And C sharp. C sharp. And we talked about C. I'm not. A, you know what? It's so nice to not be alone. Yeah, yeah. This is the world, man. Yeah, C's meant to be the easiest one. Of those. And it's not. So <laughs> I don't know why C is so hard, actually. Yeah. A lot of time I end up doing something like that. A lot of time I just try the pentatonic. Oh yeah. Yeah, I do that. Or I try to, what do I do? Again, I do the, if I'm dead. Oh, okay. The mixer, so. Sometimes I'll be like. Yeah. That's the best cheating way around it. <laughs> yeah. Or I go to another key. Oh that's yeah, a, so that works. To compensate. To compensate, like, yes, for I'm our failures. Yeah, 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 You're not yeah. alone. Yeah, and the yeah, thing yeah, is, yeah. you know, it's like when someone comes forward because a crime is committed mm -hmm. and thousands of other people yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not That's alone in this. Is. I didn't know I wasn't yeah. alone in this. Uh, I feel better now. Don't yeah, you feel better same. now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> same. And we do the same way. We play the... <laughs> we play the same yeah, yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. We actually are quite similar. We are quite similar. I've been saying this for years yeah, since yeah. the... Like, yeah. Yeah. solo one with that and then we'll swap over
So what? What? Let, let's like, let's unpack that. <laughs> let's, un, let's unpack that. Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. So what I was trying to do mm-hmm. with this chord is uh, I was kind of soloing on. So yeah, D major doing that. I was trying to do a bit of A as well. It's a it's an it's a modal version of yeah. something to do with D. Yeah. But I don't I can't remember I, I can't Yeah, I can't give the name of it, but I think I know what you're trying to say. I was trying to do that, especially on chords like that. And I was yeah. like F sharp and F sharp. Yeah. Chromatic a lot because of the like tempo and all of that. Oh yes. Yeah. I was doing a lot of E as well, like E major. simple fact I don't know that I could do all the same things all the yeah, time yeah, yeah. and yeah. this is just the way it is um, but yeah so on the, the air I try to think up melodies in solos that people mm. remember um, I can't remember any of them now thankfully the video is going yeah, but yeah. I know that I did like some kind of I don't know why I did. Mm-hmm. but yeah I like me- me- melodies in solos because yeah. it reminds me of sort of guitars yeah. jazz guitarists mm-hmm. <coughs> and yeah, I love yeah, that I one thing I do a lot in pretty much all keys is thing I like doing is uh, like you know. yeah I do that okay yeah I love all that stuff yeah because here like sense. for example you're going you know that's like a that's an F sharp but it's over the um, A spreading my hand on, big on the keyboard because it sounds impressive. <laughs> Just it works. That's how we that's how I came up with that. When we're doing the chin originally. Because mm-hmm. I was like, okay, how far can I spread this? Yeah, like yeah, 12. <laughs> no, good. And then when I was soloing like um <clears throat> I don't think in scales and modes. I think in um, what have I done before that can work in a given thing, mm-hmm. and maybe what key I've done it in before. And oh, okay, I can do it in this key if I don't think about it too hard. Mm-hmm. I think that's the diff- the, the thing. Um, and I suppose, as I say before, like melodies, because melodies are so nice. Taking, yeah, like we talked about, taking the, the listener on a journey mm-hmm. 
through the chord structure and through my thoughts and art, ah, there's just not enough of that in the world. Mm -hmm. there is, there is. <laughs> You flatten it and then you've got the chord. That, that's it, that kind of yeah. 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 I feel like chords like that are also used in, um, like, like you said, like Broadway or movies in soundtracks where they just like invoke a lot of feelings. Yeah, because you like. Yeah, because they take you, they, that's the part of the journey, isn't it? You're going from A to B to C. If you're listening with perfect pitch, I don't mean the chords, I mean the, the, the physical steps. I love all that suspended stuff. It's just so fattening. <laughs> it's like a diet that you just can't get off of. sit and do just that I can't help myself and then people remember that, that, da, 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 that they, they do don't they I need to know that one. yeah that's the one. and in context because if you play it as that transition chords a lot of people ask me about that yeah, like yeah. where do I get those I don't yeah. know I yeah, find them 
and they just either work or they don't. Mm -hmm. And I try to make them work more than not. Same difference. And uh, people remember, because F goes to E flat so nice. So maybe when you think about it in that key, you go, oh, I've done that before, but you don't know it. And my friend James Bowden, who's a concert classical pianist, says he can't do the things that I do, which is lies, because he's just grade eight madness, right? <laughs> he's like, the things that I hear you do are things I do in different keys, but when you hear them in a different key or feel them, it doesn't feel like you've known it. And it's not true. Uh, think, just think about it, there's um, an octave and, and a bit. So it's a, a ninth, and it's the middle part of your fingers that move down a semi. That's it. And then just... So you can either come down chromatically in your left hand, or you can go B flat. That's a lovely one because you can honestly get from all sorts of places to that and it's hummable da, 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 da. it's so beautiful and it's one i use a lot i mean it literally works in so many situations it's just two five ones but it's a nice two five one whereas two five ones are so boring by default mm -hmm. so you've got to beef them up uh, a bit and yeah, yeah, yeah. make them as we say memorable I learn obviously with different keys you do different things so yeah you do my standard for like everything would be like and then some kind of chromatic on the on the five and then see you're already doing it but you're doing it in a different way you're doing the same thing I just showed you but you're doing it differently see because now you're doing it in the F you can feel like you've done it before mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so you actually do it but you didn't know you did it no so you're actually just changing that. If you're spreading the chord a bit further, instead of the, move the F, so you're moving from to, and then you can do it. Wait, oh, oh let me have it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And then your normal E flat that you normally do. That's it. You've got it. Beautiful as well. You can hum that, you play it, and it's just lovely. These are the things, man. I will show you. And it's right because those are the tiny things that you may only play once in a in a thing, and people will remember that. They will remember those changes because it feels right, doesn't it? Mm. I mean, you're coming out of like. A
Six seconds. 